just with, with Pac and Biggie, yeah, right? Man. Marlon, yeah. that's you in the corner right there? I know a little bit of history. I never, as many I, times I've me. seen this picture, that's bro. That's me. I, I was there that night. So Pac was like a Damn. friend of mine because we was cool through through Jada and uh, through Omar. I went down that night to hang out with them and they performed. And that's right before they started, a couple of years later, they started beefing. So right. it was like, it was crazier than that. I saw Biggie 20 minutes before he got shot. Big Boy's big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Your big interview back in the neighborhood. Yeah. Always big a boy. pleasure to see him. Marlon Williams, welcome back to the neighborhood. Big boy, thank hey, you. Man. Always a pleasure to be here. I missed everybody. Right? I oh, did. no. I didn't know everybody growing no, up. No, he I came in. I remember in. he was just a little boy. Little boy. Yeah. <laughs> he's still, a, he's a man, but he's still no, holding he, that same size. He grew up. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he used to look like you took him from the Goya League. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now he looks like he manages uh, for yeah. the Dodgers. Somewhere. Hey, man, he's about to have his first child oh, in yeah. July, oh. man. Yep. Damn, yeah. like, how many months pregnant are you? Uh, six yeah. months. What? Six months. Yeah, dog. Oh, are you getting it? Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Uh, are you, can I? You can't curse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> are you the? Are you the? Uh, the curse word yet? Am I what? Does she call you the curse word? No. What's the curse word? The mf -er? Yeah. No. Oh, uh, you really? That's well, she's like, month, it's month coming. seven, eight. Yeah, you, you still it's in the coming. good part. Oh, yeah. Wait yeah. yeah. till those I, hormones I, start going like this, and she starts seeing the stretch marks. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you'll be an mf -er then. Yeah. How you yeah. doing? You looking good? Right. You look good all here. A little <laughs> drunk in the eyes. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Like you Martin. drink all your Corona and it doesn't go to your body. It just goes under your eyes. Marlon, please what? stop, man. I'm bag. saying hi. You're hitting a sensitive. You're hitting a sensitive point with him. I'm uh, saying hi. Stop, to the whole Marlon. Marlon, and you had a baby. I had a baby. Wow. Yeah. I know. A little, a little boy? boy. Little boy. Little boy. Yeah. Oh, lucky you. I know. I love it. Man, little girls, man, that make the, the oh, daddy God. hairline receive. <laughs> oh man, little, little girls. Oh, you just cut love off. I love being a boy mom. Yeah. Boys love their mamas. It's the best. You gonna have a girl too? I don't know. I think I might be one and done. Well, you better tie your tubes because <laughs> nowadays I, the game ain't that good on the pullout. Oh, no, it's not, uh, bro. Mm -mm. Yeah, and then you got to play like you wanted the second one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Like, it wasn't planned, but I love it. It wasn't planned, but I definitely no. love it. And you just, you just, what's going on? Oh, I man. You holding on to it? Yeah, just for the gonna, right I told one. you, you're going to get so old, you're going to be giving away and nobody going to want it. He said that in that stuff <laughs> and, with and my like, uh, Were you, how old? 30? 42 in the virgin? Uh, you, mm. you keep that. You made it this far. You might as well take it to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you said, you said you might as well take it to heaven. <laughs> Even when she get up there, Jesus is going to be like, are you serious? Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> we don't trust her. She can't get it. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. God, you hear this? Wow. It's still a virgin. <laughs> hey, God, she believes everything. <laughs> she believes it all. Oh, yeah. uh, don't you know how many non-virgins we have in heaven? <laughs> that was the one thing that, that wasn't the stipulation. <laughs> hey, man, before you came in, Marlon, before we got on air, man, yes, sir. you were saying that you have a Tesla. Do you do that automatic drive stuff or you don't? I used to. I don't trust it, man. No, I, listen, one time, sometimes you're just so tired. That's I work exactly so much. when I wouldn't want I was to. so tired. And I had Esau McGraw, a funny comedian with me. Mm -hmm. He was in uh, Headliners with me. And we was driving up to, I think, Irvine. And I was so tired. And my car was new. And I was like, I'm sorry, Negro. You ain't driving my car. Right, right, right. I don't trust you. So I put it on auto drive. And I fell asleep. <laughs> I woke up. And Esau was sweating bubbles. Oh, yeah, hell His yeah. His underarms had them... Principal teeth, those substitute teacher, <laughs> Hell yeah. sweat marks underneath. He was damn near crying. But we got there. Now, I don't trust the new one because, first of all, Elon Musk owed me $30,000. Now, how so? How does Elon Because the man Musk changed. I went and bought this brand new uh, Tesla on New Year's. And do you know, on January 3rd, this Negro changed the prices of the Tesla $30,000. So I hit him on Twitter. Which is his facility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he gonna hit me, he didn't hit me directly, but he just put like a general statement. You know, I know when somebody's side subtweeting. Yeah. He don't know about this. We know when we subtweeting, especially by the owner. Mm. He's like, all y'all didn't complain, don't complain. Who's complaining about the price drop? Y'all didn't complain. Y'all won't give me money, write me a check when we up the prices. Mm. Now I didn't know what that mean because that had a lot of math to right. do with it. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but it sounded like a catty remark. You knew you were a victim. Yeah, and that's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna tweet less. Yeah. I'm just I, retweeting now. I ain't tweeting no. Go, yeah, you're gonna show him. Nothing. I'm just gonna retweet. And it's crazy, man, because I hope you lose your 44 billion. I pray.
red. Oh. Are you heavy oh. on Twitter? Yes, I am. Has Twitter changed to you? Absolutely. Really? Since Elon oh, Musk God. owned it? Well, it's been a cesspool for a while. Mm -hmm. Now it's a rich cesspool. Hey, man, let me tell you. Louis it's, showed it's me angry. something. It's angry. It's dark. And it's crazy. Remember when we first started doing... Twitter, it was fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. me and Kevin Hart, we used to roast each other. Yeah, man. And then he stopped once he got 150 million followers. Yeah, that. that and yeah. then he don't want to at you no more. <laughs> no, yeah. He, he, then I don't get no love from Kevin. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, can I get a mention? Yeah. Like, you, can you act like you know me? Can you retweet something <laughs> right. I retweeted about me? And then um, I said, have uh, uh, wars. Me and see the God. He said something. Yeah. Funny, and I got on him and called him a bruised eggplant. And <laughs> oh, wow. <my> <laughs> Mm. I just did his show and I had to apologize to him because <laughs> it really hurt his feelings. Like, oh, really? Yeah. No, nah, Charlemagne is thick skin, bro. Nah, he, that would hurt my feelings. Oh, go ahead. Google it. Really? Yeah. Sometimes you hit him a little low. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, Marlon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I won't turn sideways on him. I don't want him to get on this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that so, little. So I like that little. Nut. I know you hung your hat on it the last time uh, you, you know, were here. It's cool. <laughs> like a little brontosaurus. Like, <laughs> And do it. You ever seen the end of the Flintstones? And, and hey man, and you know when you were a kid and they do your little shadow drawings, or it'd be like your sh like the little black outline. Can you imagine? Yeah. It'd be like, oh, that's big right there. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I noticed when I lost weight, it got bigger. It got more defined. Had, I guess uh, I had. I guess I had more meat you back there. You thought you were gonna be all the so way back cute? to Elon. Uh -oh. uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. So Elon owed him thirty thousand yeah, dollars. So, but and, and so I still use Twitter and stuff, but I know it's, you know what, it just got real political, and it wasn't yeah, when man. Elon bought it, it's when Trump got in office. It just got real nasty. Like, people, because now it's all bots. It's not real people. It's people with like 23, 43 followers. It's right. not real people. There's no blue checks. These are people from other countries trying to influence us as Americans on what kind of uh, 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 insecurities and anxieties we mm -hmm. should have. It's Right now, it's making our country crazy, and I'm just like, I'm not big on it because I, I, I just know it's fake. So, Amen. And, and I did The Daily Show. That's what I was about to say. I wanted to touch on that as well, man. And when I did The Daily Show, I was like, I came into work. I did it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, last week. Last week I came in after working on Monday. I looked at my Twitter Monday night. I was like, who the huh, are these people? Oh. They was lighting me up. You the white man's B and you this and you that. And I'm this was and a that white was man Monday telling night. me <laughs> I'm the white man's B. I had to check my Monday night and I was I went into work on um Tuesday. I said, Y'all got haters. Like, oh yeah, we do. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of um, And that's what right Jason wings. and I were talking about. We were like, man, Jay -Z. you know Jason, not not, not, not Jay Z. Oh, I was about to say, don't you ever name drop like that. Oh, yeah, no. that's what me and Jay Z was talking about. <laughs> yeah. You know, man. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. yeah, that's the that's you what know, me, me, and, me and uh MJ. Yeah. Who's MJ? Michael Jackson? No, no, no Michael no. Jordan. Yeah. We was no, Mar B. Martin Jordan? Jones. No, yeah. no, the Michael Jordan. Oh wow! You... Nah, nah. I was saying Jason, our producer. Uh, yeah, but no, we were talking See about how, how quiet we... I got. Yeah, exactly. All the excitement went yeah. away. Who? Yeah, well, me and Jay Z were talking about. Yo, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, but who was you really talking to? Uh, Jason Ryan, our producer. <laughs> mm. He doesn't get the same thing. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Jay, Jay Z never booked you for this show. Yeah, yeah but he's true. still Jay Z. Right? Yeah. Is it a difference between Jay Z and Jason, our producer? Absolutely. He's not married to Beyonce. Mm. I only want to be close to Jay Z so I could get a gander at Beyonce. Now, don't put That's this out tacky. there on the thing. Right, right, right. No, this is definitely going <laughs> oh, on. Oh, same reason why we want to be cool with Russell Wilson because I want to see close up CC in that dress. Really? You feel me? Don't Ooh. put this on. The gram. Right, right. Mm. This is definitely going to be on the gram. This, this, this the one you're going to pick. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this the click. This I, the clickbait right here, bro. I, I thought we were friends. We are friends, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I won't tell people about the knot on the back of your head. Come on. Come on. All right, Let's you got to. Let's be yeah. <laughs> All right, you got a deal, Marlon. You, you drive a hard Thank bargain. Thank you, man, because he but, already don't let me in the Grammy party. I have never. You know, I got a bone to pick with Jay-Z. Oh, my God, bro. Please. I got the same bone. I get in Jiggy Diddy party. All the time, did he hit me? Hey, like that, Canto, mm -hmm. Sarah, mm -hmm. Leon. Take that, I'm like, take that. take that, take that, take that shot. Come have a good time. Always, Jay Z, the brunch, crickets. 
crickets. And I'd be looking at that brunch like, how the hell did he get in there? Uh, you be having all these worthless ass people in this damn brunch. Hey man, how I've, the hell? I've never been invited to the to the Rock Nation brunch, right? Me either. And I had LMA and my up in here. Feelings is hurt. And LMA was like, oh, there was way less more important people there. And I was like, I don't know how to take that either. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. yeah. like way less important people. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think now that we add it out, I think we really not going. He going. No, 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 no. Jay's a funny dude. He listened to the, the streets. You mm-hmm. hear that song? Bwink, bwink, bwink. The streets is watching. Yeah. Jay Z be listening to the streets. So all we got to do is talk about this, and I guarantee you, next year, I'm gonna get an invite. Yeah, you are. To the th- and you gonna be my plus one. Oh. Stop it, bro. I'm lying. Yeah, but, but it sounds good today. <laughs> It sound good it today. It really did. Yeah, it's, I, I'm not gonna lie. And I want to tell you, if I'm you didn't say I'm lying, lying <laughs> I wouldn't even thought you were. Oh until, until next year when you be like, oh, big, I forgot. You know, you know how what I'm about saying? this? You ready? Yes. If I get a plus two, guess what? Booyah. All righty, me and who? Who's, who else is coming up? I got to see what's popping. Yeah, now. exactly, <laughs> man. We don't know what the future holds. Hey, you probably, know what probably my little man, Sean. My All little right. son. Okay. I named him Sean. All right, yo, yo, oh yeah, your son's son. Yeah, just case. So you will take your son over like somebody in the neighborhood, or would you take your son if it was just a plus one? Yes. Oh, that's kind of dude. It's my son. He, wow. Right. Can but you he, got a lot of memories with your son. Have we ever been to like a club or a party together? Popped out of me. And <laughs> he, I, I, I created. Say what now, honey? I said uh, that's right. Yeah, I guess he did. You would yeah. take your son? No, she wouldn't. No, yeah, my. Oh. No, because then I can't really like turn up, and then I have to watch him the whole time. Yeah. You would take your thing that you've been holding on to for so long. <laughs> no, That's your but plus one. I would one? take Big as my plus one. Yeah, see. Oh wow. Yeah. They wow. just say that because they work with wow. the company. Wow. <laughs> you see that? You don't need nothing from me. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You can't be honest. Yeah. You don't yeah. think he see through that? Yeah. No, I see you don't want to see. She got her place. You are gonna be replaced? Yeah. Now, <laughs> you in the menudo seat? Yeah. Now, now, you in the menudo seat? Why would you even say that? Yeah. Oh, you'll see. I'm surprised <laughs> at this point that you don't press a button and she's a pop out <laughs> the roof of the damn place. You know what it is, man. 2024 when they remodel the studio, that's what we got. <laughs> yeah, man, we got them push button seats to just fire them right on the top. Pop. Hey, man, so now cool. you you have a new comedy special as well, man. Yes. And in your new comedy special, you did you you touched on the Chris Rock. Uh, Will Smith before Chris. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had kind of a I thing. Did. Man, and we had this conversation before. Did but you see now, it? What, the uh, you select? Didn't yeah. See it. You Wait, didn't. yours? He didn't see my. No, I, hey, bro, let me tell you. Netflix? Real talk, I only saw. Wow. And I don't even think it's on Netflix. You hear the friend? No, it's on HBO. You hear it's, my... Yeah, he said, he said, did you hear him? He I'm said always... the one on Netflix. Thought. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah, you divert. was my friend. Divert, yeah. <laughs> I was going to make you my <laughs> wow. plus two. Hey, wow. If I got plus two to take you Let to Let me tell you this, season. man. Bro, how many years we been rocking together? 25. Easy, right? You know what I'm saying? Yes. You don't when, see my... Sp- when, you, I, when, when I looked ready? out... Did you see Selective Outrage? Nope. <laughs> He lying. <laughs> he lying. Nah, which, which one Why is that? You? Is that the new Chris Rock one? Yeah. I haven't seen it Why as not? of yet. I just haven't. Now you hurt two people's feelings. Right. Well, you know Because I know Chris Rock know you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. No. You know what? I did see, you said selective outrage. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> no. I saw that one. We, uh. we just call it the Chris Rock stand up thing. So you didn't, you seen the Chris Rock stand up thing. Yeah. But you didn't see the Marlon okay, Wayans. Let me, let me, let me do this with you, Marlon. I want to know. I, I, I need answers. We, my we my been... children is listening right now. <laughs> so please explain why okay. daddy ain't nothing to you. And my children are at school. Let me tell you this, Marlon. We've been together, what, 25 years? Yes. At least, right? Yes. When I got my start, in Hollywood Walk of Fame. I yes. looked out. Even when I thanked you, you weren't there. I would have been if you, I would have got the email. Yep. I would have got the email. <laughs> do I show up? I'm to wait, when you do interviews with us? No, when you ask me to show up. Okay, I've been. Ch- Remember that time you opened a <laughs> vegan restaurant Whoa. and you said, Marlon, I'm opening a vegan you restaurant. You should have came to that and told me, Big, this is a bad investment. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> My stomach hurt for three days after that. That's friendship. Yeah, I that was is all true, kind man. of farting. I'm still uh, farting yeah, from that, that damn is, food. That is true, man. I, I, it was the location. That ain't right, right. I was just like across from the. Comedy? From nothing? <laughs> not, yeah, there's a car, car yeah. lot. That's like. closed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Location, location, location. Yeah, Remember that man. time? Okay. No hey, time? bro, you really know how to kick people when they down, huh? <laughs> well, you know, I'm just bringing up Write a note, Jose, for me to say something back to him. Remember, remember when oh, I came, you had a, a thing, mm-hmm. a benefit mm-hmm. for your, oh. or your friend. For Jose? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, man. And I came on through. Man, Did thank I you not for that. show up? You know what? Let's do this, man. Let's break. 
I'm gonna go watch this comedy special. <laughs> you gonna go sit and with yourself? Gonna, and we gonna sit come, with yourself? No, I'm gonna go watch the special, and then we're gonna come it's back. It's an hour long. How are you gonna watch that? Just wait right here. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is right. This. This is a lie. Hey, hey, man. Let me tell you how crazy it is about your special. But why? Did you, you know, watch I didn't know. Chris Rock's I, you know, special, not mine. Let me tell you why. Why? Because they begged me to. Who? Them. <laughs> Who's them? They. Who they? All of them. I get the pronoun game. You're playing with me. Right. But I want to know who, what's the names of the person? Yes, exactly. So that wow, right there, you really that didn't you see right my there. special. <laughs> Let me tell you. How you not see my special? This is the best one I ever did. I've been doing stand-up oh, for 12 I have, no, years. No, man. My, people have been talking. It's the not streets. the best you've done. Oh, my God, man. They they, they seen it. And then when I, I, I asked them, I said, man, do I need to check it out there? It's like, big. Wow. Don't waste your time. That's you gonna listen to a virgin? She yeah. Can't, hey, she, yeah. she don't. Even, she can't make good choices in her life. Hey, man. But can, can I? She's missing out on the best things in Let life. Let me tell you, Marlon. If you gonna listen to her, you shouldn't see that special. Can I keep you it real with you? see that special. Let me keep it real with you, Marlon. Yes. And this is the honest to God truth. Go. You know, I didn't know you had a new special till this morning. <sighs> yep. Why? I've been off everything. Why? I saw your what's, little. I saw your clips. On? You know what I'm saying? So I the saw, clips told you I had a special up. Yeah, but no, I saw you talk about Will Smith or Jada. I didn't know where that was from. From my special. There it is. So now I know. So now you're going to watch it? Yes, I am. Can I get a personal text? And then the next day when you see it, I want you to come on here and tell people what you thought of it. I, I don't will. care if you hate it. No, nah, I know I won't hate it. Nah, you may. I probably might. Apparently, yeah, the yeah. virgins, <laughs> it ain't for the virgins she and didn't the see it either, sensitive man. people out <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, you know, people I'm, with actual diameters in their urethra <laughs> area. <laughs> hey man, I want to tell you straight up, man. Yes. I do feel bad for not watching it. And I and, and you know what? Well, not that bad, Marlon. I know you're gonna keep going, but I, I do feel bad. <laughs> no, and I, I appreciate you feeling Thank you, brother. somewhat bad. Yeah, you love my my pain. No, I want you to sit in it while we do commercial break. <laughs> right, right. All right. Sit in your there pain you. and think about yourself as a friend. Yeah, man. Think about yourself. Say, hey, man, and when I, I tried to do that, you didn't show up. You came with good receipts. Mm. I did. Oh, you showed up, man. That's but you know I what, Marlon? Up. I booked you when no one else wanted to. That's true. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Famous yeah. for 30 years. Yeah, yeah man. man. I've been famous since I was 19. Yeah, I man. I had a movie come out every year for yeah. 19 years. Yeah, man. And nobody wanted to book me. Yeah, man. It was it, 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 was it me? Yeah, it was running through Hollywood, man. Everybody was talking bad about you. How come I'm not on the wall? Man, you are on the wall. Go look again. Not this wall, the the all the, the wall out there with all the pictures on it. There's only one wall here. No, nah, I'm talking about the wall. I can't I'm be next to the, Michael Jackson. Of course you can. I can't be next to J-Lo. Of course, uh -oh. I don't know who the hell that is. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Y'all stick around. Y'all already in the big boy's that? neighborhood. And why is he on the wall? Lord have mercy, man. <laughs> when the mics are off, boy. <laughs> this dude, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. The cancel culture would. <laughs> all right. Hey, man, we were talking I'm about this. I'm looking to get canceled. Really? That's when you blow up. Mm, ah, you gotta make it through the cancel. Oh, I gotta piss off the right white person. I need to be canceled. Get you a shoe deal, blow it yeah. off, and then they come back. Well, I ain't doing that. Right, right, right. He, he, he even that. I was like, I don't understand that man. Right. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was brilliant at first. I was like, wait, he's he's doing this because he wants to start his own sneaker company. Yeah. But then I was like, but why would he wear a White Lives Matter shirt and piss off the audience? He did it because he crazy. Mm. But crazy is a good thing. Crazy allows us to bend and never break. Something in being crazy. Wow. I'm going to start being crazy. Man, when they hear all these little blank pieces, they're going to be wow. like, what are you talking about? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. man. Yeah. Wow. Watch, watch are you going to manipulate? Watch this. Marlon Wayans in the neighborhood. Marlon, you just did The Daily Show. Yes, I did. Hey, man. And, or, to the, promote my special. Would you do it, though? If they, because I'm telling you, man. If I could get I big can, boy money where I could make bad investments into vegan restaurants across mm -hmm. the street from parking lots. Right. Hell yeah. Would and you not worry about it? Could the next you day? do a daily show right now? I mean, I, as much as you like on the road, movies, specials, boy, and busy. I may be late on Thursdays. Right, right. Got you, got you. <laughs> but I, I could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday. Yeah. Thursday. You still got to go. Because <laughs> it's home day. I got to go give me some drinks. I right. got to go live a little. You know How was I mean? that week for you, though? I had an amazing time. Yeah, I, man. I, amazing time. But I, it was, what was great was I didn't go into the Daily Show one and go, I'm going to be Trevor Noah. Right. I didn't go into the Daily Show and go, I'm going to make this the Marlin Show. 
I went into the Daily Show as Marlon Wayans, and I brought my flavor to a show that was already structured with a lot of brilliant minds. Mm -hmm. And all I did was try and make the great stuff that we all came up with funnier. And it was a great I, I mean, I got my, lots of love and a yeah, lot man. of repost, and it was nice. It was it was nice to bring a little soul to the daily. Yeah, show. and I, I and I'm gonna tell you too, man. Not with, soul flavor. Like yeah. it was. It's, they because normally Trevor, salt and pepper with a little bit of garlic. I'm Larry's. Right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, right. I'm different. I'm a, I'm a different breed. I'm right. just, I, I'm I can tell by the, the way you call Larry's Larry's too. That's us. Yeah, Larry. Yeah, we don't we don't say Larry's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Larry. <laughs> Cancer, and my name is Larry. Yeah. <laughs> So doing that show, bro, that was one of those, I can't tell you, like, not when was the last time, but I haven't had the Daily Show pass across my radar. It was just kind of off my radar right. until you get someone that kind of walk like you, talk like you, breathe like you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I know that you were saying that across America, there was, you know, everybody's opinionated as well. So you got to have that kind of thick skin. Yeah. You know, and I was asking, I was like, man, would you do something like that? Because it seems so natural to you. I mean, uh, you know what? I've been doing this for so long. I've been now professionally, you know, if I think about the years I study, I've been studying acting since I was like seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm 50 now. So 43 years of different expertise, right? So I I studied acting for 10 years, 20, 15 years. Then I started writing. So I've been writing now 30 years. Then I started producing. I've been producing about 25, 30 years. And then I started stand up and I've been doing stand up now for 12 years. Everything's starting to come together right right so you log ten thousand hours mm -hmm. in order to be great at one thing within the one thing i wanted to be great at i log ten thousand hours On in, each. <laughs> in producing writing stand up you know just getting these skill sets sketch so i can do whatever you want drama i can do anything so that was a foreign environment for me and the only thing that got me through was my preparation as an artist i didn't live in color i know how to read teleprompter from all the hosting gigs i've done so it was to me i'm gonna go in there and have fun right and that's what i did and was it more did. work than you anticipated yeah it was daily yeah. i was like <laughs> kidding me when i got the wednesday i was like stop yeah man i just mean we're doing this again he was like man we can't do the uh the every other day the show. weekly show <laughs> i would do the weekly show yeah. the weekly show you or good. the monthly show oh i'm, I'm oh, rocking yeah. that but get then, you one of them chris rock schedules that hbo special bro that schedule like oh man we here that, once a month that's what i would do like I, I used to come. I came into work on the Daily Show, and I just had to come in, the staff every morning. Right. All the writers, all the producers, all the guys that do the uh, in the field stuff, the guy, people that write the sketches. Like just to see the process, I'd walk in humbly, and I just wanted to give them their flowers, man. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all a beast, man. It's that crazy was a great how... experience for me, and I've been doing this for professionally 32 years and that was one of the mind blowing this experience hey man it's crazy how we some people think like oh you go in there they do an hour and then they're done they have their whole no. day they have their whole night and i'm like that's not how it oh, works you wake up and yeah you immediately start writing and i was doing this while i was doing promotion for the special god loves me on hbo max yeah man hell of a special too my people tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my people tell wow, me. Wow, we got to work on this friendship. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so I was out promoting that during the day. And then, at, at like, at 9 o'clock, 9.30, I'd get to the to the writer's room. And you literally sit there and you write mm. all day. And then they go to a bigger writer room. You pick the stories and you go to a bigger writer room. Then the writers break off and you go back to the room. And then, like, it's a... Then you got run through. And then after run through, you go back and they make notes. And then after the notes, you go down, you get dressed and you eat. And then you go and you got to film the show that you put together. And then on a Thursday, I mean, on a Friday or a Sunday, you're filming sketches. So it's oh, done. Stop work. And Do you I, want that workload, Marlon? I mean, I'm, I'm a beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not afraid of work, right? The one thing about me, you look at my schedule, you look at my my even my tour schedule. I'm not afraid of work. Why do you stay so busy though? Like I, I, I look and I look at like when a you schedule. grow up poor, right? Say it. If the thought of ever being poor again, if the thought of me not eating or my kids not possibly eating mm -hmm. or not possibly having sneakers or not possibly having a roof over their head or the comforts of just school in general. Mm -hmm. Like that pressure on me every day when I grew up poor, the way I grew up poor, I'm like, yo, I'm never, I don't want me 
or anybody in my generations to feel that. In fact, I want to get so rich that I rescue the poor from being poor. I go back and I make poor better. Like for me, I went, I, instead of buying like a Bentley truck or something crazy, I took my money and I went back to my projects and I rebuilt their gym. Wow. Because I wanted to keep the kids off the street. I know how important that was for me mm-hmm. is to keep them kids off the street. I took a bunch of money and I redid the gym. And it says, thank you, Wayne's family, for this beautiful gym. And you're like, I that was back. me. Yeah. You're like, Wayne's family? No, take no, that no, family it was, off. It was, the, it was the family. <laughs> if, if one of us, we all of us. How crazy is that, man, when you look at it today? And I made sure when I did the Daily Show that I talked about the things that was, and that's what I love about the Daily Show, is they let me talk about the things that was important to me. Mm-hmm. After school programs yeah. and the funding for after school programs, you know, uh, uh, things things that, that was significant to me. For me to be like, yo, donate to the Hudson Gill, which is the community center that helped raise me. Go digging back and going, people forget about poverty. Poverty right. still exists. Like we all think every day ever since Instagram, yeah. everybody yeah. balling, everybody on their Everything jet. is fabulous. That's not real. So let's talk about the people who ain't doing it. Let's talk about the people who's hurting out there because not everybody's rocking. So I think for us as celebrities and people that's making money, for us to always think back, if you just go help your hood and your family, you will help a lot of people. So instead of buying the jewelry and the watches and all that, man, go build a gym. Go build a safe place to raise the next you. Go build a studio for the kids. Mm -hmm. Go do something else. And then you go buy you something. Did you have that growing? Because we had programs growing up. I did. You know, like, I, I mean, I played instruments. We had after school yeah. programs. You Clarinet. Seen it yeah. wasn't like, you yeah. had no I, I dope was, instrument. I, yeah, I was trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Yeah. All the loud. Bam, bam. Yeah. My mom would be so mad. Oh, was, Boy, you can't. She, Sean was playing, I love you truly. True. My mother said, Damn you, boy. You ain't no damn Miles Davis. Hey, man, mine was uh, Hot Cross Buns. And it was a... But couldn't tell me wow. nothing. That keeps you off the street. Uh-uh. The basketball programs, yeah, those man. things, the acting, the after-school acting programs, those help keep me off the streets because by times the, the bullies was out. They was too tired to whoop my ass. Right, right. You know, I'm getting out, I'm getting out at 6 o'clock. You can wait. They always, 3 o'clock, I'm going to get you. Be like, all right, well, I'm yeah. here at 6, so. <laughs> like, you can try to wake me out. <laughs> Keep looking out like, yeah. Lonnie's gone. And you ain't going to catch me tomorrow because you come. You cut the first class. I know this. Man. Um, so so um, I, I, I think it's 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 important for, for, for us as we make it to always reach back, you know, and I'm lucky because not only did I have after school programs, I had my brothers, right? Yeah. And my dad and my mom. You forget how significant and important being a male figure in your family is. You know, you have to be an example, not only to your kids, to your nephews, your nieces, your 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 your, your cousins. You have to show up. I show up. My brothers showed up for me, so I show up for my family. And that's a million people right there in the Wayne's yeah. population. <laughs> Tell me so about I it, bro. just keep them Negroes off the street. Y'all be safe. Hey, Please man. see my special. Um, um, you don't God even know the name is special. God Jesus loves me. Christ, you see this? On HBO Max, not Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you got so many everywhere, hey, man, bro, across he, all he, platforms. You know, like, somebody damn. don't, you know what I mean? And you got to give When him. HBO Max, you know what I'm saying? You do a lot of work, man. Yeah, man. Bro, so you can't, like, you know what I'm saying? You but know what it is, show. too, man. Like we told you, he's about to have his little one. His yeah. head is all over the place. It's all over the place right now, bro. Yeah, man. You Listen, know, look how he's dressed. I got a Listen, baby shower, bro. Tell, tell your baby girl, <laughs> Epidural. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Don't do it no other way. Unless you want to be choked from scratch. No. Oh, yeah, I had to. Oh, yeah, you got to. No, they cut, they C section. Girl, they got good drugs. Take them. (laughs) You don't don't need an epidural just for your first time doing it. (laughs) Um, What I'm trying. Say. Yeah, I, uh, we know what you're trying to say, Marlon. Yeah. I, I think we, I think we know what you're trying to say. We get it. Hey, hey, Marlon, let me tell you how many times, bro, I've seen this picture just Which one? in me and you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, <man. laughs> Which one? Me and you. <laughs> this picture. Oh, that's fine, Waldo. Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, I call that fine, Waldo, right amen. there. Just with, with Pac and Biggie, right? Yeah, man. Marlon, that's you in the corner right there? I know a little bit of history. I never, as many I, times I've me. seen this picture, that's bro. That's me. I, I was there that night because I went, Pac, that's me and Pac had did, did uh, Above the Realm. And I went down there to hang out with Pac. 
and Big was there, and they performed together, mm -hmm. Party and BS. And was that at, in New York at the, the kitchen? No, or that was Glam Slam, downtown oh, Prince's man. Club. Pac was out here. Big was out here performing. This is before P Big blew up, yeah. and Pac was already on the rise. Because, you know, he did Juice and Above the Rim. And so Pac was like a Damn. friend of mine because we was cool through through Jada and uh, through Omar. So we all shared collective friends. So um, we um, I went down that night to hang out with them and they performed. And that's right before they started. A couple of years later, they started beefing. So right. it was like, it was crazier than that. I saw Biggie 20 minutes before he got shot. At, you were at Peterson that night. Yeah, I, I said, "Was it? I was on the trap on on, on the escalator coming down." He goes, oh, "Yo, I love what you and your family's doing. <sighs> keep doing it. I love y'all. Keep keep rocking. I love y'all." He was like, "I'm a fan." I was like, "I love you, man." I gave him a hug. I was like, "I'm a fan of yours, man. You that dude." And twenty minutes later, pop, pop, pop. Then I saw Tupac. Twenty minutes before he got shot, I saw Pac. We was leaving the. Luxor Hotel, mm. and Pac was out there, and he was with his gang of people, and I was like, yo, what's up, Pac, from a distance. Right. And Omar, this, you know, dark-skinned niggas got a lot of, a lot of courage. Right, yeah. He was like, we gonna go over and say what's up. I was like, well, you know, we, he yeah. can see us from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Death Row. You know, sugar, Death sugar Row. Night's with him. And <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't want to disturb right. Sugar Night. And right. All the guys in, yeah. in red. You know, yeah. I, I say the red people alone. They're a little angry. How about let's get in this nice cab over here. This is before Uber. <laughs> yeah. And so Pop, uh, Omar was like, nah, we got to go, you know, pay some respects. You know what I'm saying? Show our love. Well, we don't have to. We, right, we huh? have our friendship to yeah, deal with. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's beep them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Well, we don't have room in the yeah. cab. It only fits three comfortably in the back. <laughs> and so we went over there and um, we talked for a second. Did Pop we all treat, did, he, did he greet you any different? Loved us, man. We loved him. He right. always, always acknowledged me, man, because we laughed. There was a part of Pac that was so funny. Yeah, man. Everybody always seen one side of him. I know the dimensions, you know, the spiritual. Pac was a leader. Pac was, he was, that dude was so beyond his years. And he was funny. Mm -hmm. If Pac did anything, he was funny. He was a good dude. He always had to be the life of the party. If you told a joke, he coming off top. Hey, you man, pull a prank, he pulling the On the oh, Daily Show one. when you said how, how he got Omar. Yeah, yeah. That, that was Pop. Yeah, explain that real quick. Oh, yeah, Omar quick. sleep with his eyes open like that. And so Pop pulled his sack out and put it right next to Omar's mouth. Yes, man. <laughs> and it looked like that. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 and Omar's like, man, I can't. And someone got a picture somewhere. We ain't, oh, never, no. let, we ain't never getting it out. Right. But um, it was, it was, you know, he was always fun. And what we all had in common, me, Jada, Pop, uh, Omar, well, we were performing arts high school's kids from the ghetto. Mm -hmm. Yes, we knew all the thugs, we knew all the gangsters, but we were in the schools trying to get out the hood a different way. And we just had a great collective union. And, um, you know, so we went over, say, pop, say bye to Pop, you know, give him love. And we got in a cab, and the way Pac was looking, his BMW oh, pulled no. up, and I seen him looking at us, like, there was this look in his eyes, like, man, I, I want to be with them. That mm -hmm. looks fun. But, mm, them Negroes is in a cab. Let me right, get right. this nice comfortable <laughs> BMW. Man, so you saw him. And then 20 him. minutes later, yeah. Where you at when you get that news? We was in Vegas. And yeah. Cried our behind off, man. We heard he got shot. We stayed through to see. And then, uh, you know, we was all tears, me, mm -hmm. Mitch, and uh, Omar. And then that's when we was like, yo, I don't even play gangster. I don't even, I don't right. do that, man. That's not me. I'm, I'm you know, I, I fight when I got to protect myself. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I do my my, my my martial arts, my boxing. Right. But I'm not going looking for trouble. I never did. You know what I mean? That's not me. And I tell my son the same thing. If you see trouble, stay away from it, man. Right. My, That's what my I tell my kids, too. I'm like, man, I don't want you to be offensive, but yeah. your defense is immaculate. You have to. Yeah. Your you, if someone go to punch you, you got to either take the punch and punch back. That's reflex. And then don't stop punching. Yeah. Or you punching first because you feel it. And you know when there's violence. Like, you know when it's about to kick off. I go to, used to go to clubs. I'm like, mm. Yeah. I smell that, I smell that dirt weed. I smell, oh. Yeah, man. Mm, I smell, oh, what was it? Uh, the backwoods. Yeah. Oh, 
oh, yeah. backwards. Oh, I smell, I smell hypnotic. I'm like, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Alize, oh, I, apple now, apple sour now later. Oh, I got to go. Uh, I got to go. Yeah, man. Your radar always been up. Yeah. Yeah, same with me, bro. Got to, man. Same with me. Got to. I, man, I'm not going to stay around for it. Man. Marlon, when you did a roll call of the people that you that you hung with, man, and how you guys all went to like a school of performing arts. Well, they you, went, Jada and Pac went to a different yeah. performing arts. But, but being that you had that connection with Jada, and when you fast forward to where you see Jada and Will, like, is it harder to do any kind of material knowing that that's also a personal friend of yours? Nah. Okay. Here's right. the thing. Right. Everybody, this is my job. Everybody right. knows me, right? And everybody, most of all, everybody knows my heart. And if when you see the special, right, right, right. you will see I didn't go there with toxicity trying to break people down. I just told the truth from every different angle. I spoke for everybody and everybody involved from a neutral perspective. And I spoke honesty. And honestly, the special ain't even about them. Right, yeah, 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 I got you. The special's about me. It's about how all my travels with them and knowing them. Like when when Chris got slapped, I got slapped. I felt that. Right. And it just slapped this special into my head. And Why did like, you say you felt that? Because the journey of everybody hit me. Like like everything, everywhere, all at once. It was like I got shipped <laughs> into a, a portal. And I was like, oh, wow. I, I got a story to tell. Because... For me, as a black man, as a black actor, as a black writer, as a black stand-up comedian, and as a black actor, I understood being both their friends right. and Jada's friend. I had a connection with all three of these yeah. people. So what happened with that slap, it was instant inspiration. I didn't even put pen to paper. I wrote it on a stage. I wrote it because of, I was inspired. God was whispering to me. God wrote this. That's why I call it God Loves Me because... Nobody's gonna do a special in three months. I did. A, I wrote that special right. on a stage in three months by myself. Had you ever did writers. material I, that fast? Nah. Yeah. Nah. You got to tour material for like two, three years, yeah. man. Get it right. Make sure every joke works. And I'm like, nah. I'm filming this because I want this out by next Oscars. And I got other things I want to do. I know my next three or four specials. Like I'm prolific in this. People, I don't know what people are s sniffing on or smoking on, but. I'm here to to destroy. I'm not I because I, everything comes together for me. I'm not telling jokes, bro. I got stories. I got characters. I got acting. I got mm -hmm. so much to give that I already know my next three specials. I want to hurry up and film those because I want to write something new. I want to be inspired to write something brand new. I don't sit on material. I never tell a joke twice. Like wow. when I when I once I film it, I You're retire done. it. Damn. I retire the set. And see, that's harder for when it comes to comedians. Harder, because but I'm not a comedian. Ah, say it. That's one of the things I do. I'm part comedian. Mm -hmm. I am part actor. I am part writer, part producer, and part director. So when I'm doing something, I see it from every angle. I, a lot of act, a comedians got to learn to act, to learn to do characters, to learn to remem memorize their script. I don't even have to write mine down. I'm like Jay-Z. I, I write mine down in my head, and I go, oh, man. I could play like a DJ. Like, all right, uh, this is playlist I want to play tonight. I'm going to tell my jokes backward. I just start having fun now because Chappelle told me, you spend enough time on a stage. It's about the, the amount of hours you spend logging on a stage. That's when you get nice with it. Mm -hmm. I'm on the road every week and check my – and I yeah. come home. When I come home, I'm writing movies. I'm, I'm thinking I'm writing and developing TV shows. I'm I'm doing more than just stand up. I'm I'm telling you something. I'm different, and mm -hmm. that's okay. I don't want to be like nobody. I feel, I really embrace what God has made me through my journey, through being my brothers, being the little prince of the Wayans tribe, one of the princes of the Wayans tribe. Because I was raised by King Sean, Damon, Keenan, my sister. Like I'm raised in this. I'm the baby, and now I get to go be, and I'm learning along the way, and I'm learning how to write. I, now it's like, these are my best years. The first mm -hmm. 30, 40 I learned. Wow. Now we conquer. Amen. Had you talked to Chris since that? No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> right. you think, I don't know. Did, 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 what's the conversation? Did Chris talk to Will? Man, right. Did Chris talk to Jada after he said, no, we comedians. I shouldn't talk to nobody about what jokes I'm I'm not even do. talking about since the jokes. I'm talking about since the Oscars of last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap. I talked to Will and I talked to Chris. Wow. I did. I hit them both. I texted them both. I was like, you good? To Chris, I, 
you know, I was going to send a little emoji with a tear. Mm, good thing you didn't know. Yeah, but I, because I was concerned. And then I hit Will. I was like, yo, congrats on your Oscar. You know what I'm saying? Because I had just did Bel Air. Now, yeah, man. Being that I did this special, he probably going to replace me like he did Aunt Viv. <laughs> you going to see Terrence Howard. He always replaced with someone light skinned. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse Williams playing the role of Lou. Yeah, man. <laughs> but um, I talked to Will, too. I just told him, I said, congrats. You snap. That's not like you. You should make sure yeah, you party man. it tonight. Go do seven hours of therapy on, on Monday. I, I was concerned. And when you see the special, what you're going to see is the compassion the empathy, and the love in which I handled it. But it's also the truth. It's a love letter to the three of them, a love letter to black people, yeah. a love letter to all those that experienced that moment because I was just trying to close it. But it's all based on my journey because the gift that I give the audience is it's not even about me. It's about all of us and that everything that we endure in our life is purpose. Stop questioning your purpose. Just know that whatever journey you're on, you can't be envious of somebody else. You can't look over in their yard and go, why ain't I rocking like that person? Mm. It's not your time. God don't want that to happen for you like that. You just keep doing what you doing and there's no bad in your life. It's all good. Just be grateful along the way to God. Trust God in this journey. He got you. Don't try to thirst to be nobody else. Just don't question when something bad happens to you. Just know that God's trying to make you stronger. And lastly, you know, just be grateful for who you are on this mm -hmm. journey. Don't try to be anybody except you. I'm Marlon Wayans. Hey, man, Marlon Wayans in the neighborhood. Marlon, I got to ask you, some people always ask about, uh, they ask Ice Cube, is it going to be another Friday? At one point, I asked Ice Cube is gonna be another problem. <laughs> so you know where I'm going. People say, "Oh, well, Dre was we, when he mentioned detox." People, were, "Oh, is detox coming?" That that's completely dead. How much do you get white chicks? Oh, I get. You know, it's funny. I don't just get white chicks. I get white chicks too from everybody, other countries. I got people in in in, in uh, Brazil. Branquelas, branquelas. Right. They, <laughs> right. Listen, Hilarious. I go to Brazil. The whole country sings, making my way downtown. They don't speak a, a, a lick of English. But the song comes, I should born then to the sky. They, it's crazy. I went down to Punta del Este, which is in Uruguay, and uh, on the southern tip of Uruguay. It's like the Hamptons of South, South America. Cars are stopping. Brancalas, Brancalas. Other cars. White chit, shorty, shorty, scary movie, scary movie. <laughs> I got yeah, people you got, asking me to do Don't Be a Menace. I got hits. <gasps> I got hits. Amen. We yeah. got, I, we, you, yeah. we got Classics, hits. My though. family, mm -hmm. we, Come we, on, never, man. we never made a movie. We never made a show. We never made a sketch. Say it, that. We make classics. You yeah, know what a man. classic is? Something that you can play no matter, it could be 50 years from now. You yeah. put it on and you laugh like it's your first time seeing it. That's a classic. And sometimes the critics don't understand what they're doing. They never do. They bash us. Amen. But y'all don't get it because we the, we, the, we the people's people. I can pick up Don't Be a Menace anywhere classic. it's at. Classic. I can pick up any, in Living Color, anywhere it's at. White Chicks, anywhere it's at. Yeah. Classic. It, and, and, and even the franchise that was kind of snatched away. You know what I'm saying? That I'm rock, but, like, yeah, that is true, bro. They always, when they snatched, all they did was limit their upside. If they were smart, they would have long-term business. Mm -hmm. Now we're at the place where, you know, as I continue to develop as a star, as the brand is only getting, people only getting more hungry. They're only getting thirstier, and I'm only getting more bigger. So, you know, when they want to talk, we, we could talk. Because when we come back, because <laughs> we've proven other people can't tell our jokes. Right. You could try and fool them, but at a point, they're like, mm. <laughs> like when, when I did Haunted House. Yeah, man. Right? They try to keep doing the scary movies. They actually tried to buy Haunted House and just to shelve it so they could do Scary Movie 5, and they actually started, or 6 or whatever, and they was pilferging from my mm. day. Not Malcolm. Malcolm, I love Malcolm to death, but I'm talking about the, 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 the Weinsteins in them, right? They was trying to... And I was like, no, because I'm going to show you, I don't need y'all. Y'all need me. Mm -hmm. I created this. Yeah. This is my formula of jokes. This is me and my family's recipes. Nah, y'all don't get to do that. Now, you could put that out, and they try to put it out at the same time. They spent a lot more money than I did. I did Haunted House for a million and a half dollars. It opened to $19 million. I don't know, a scary movie, they probably spent 40 50 whatever, and... It didn't do nowhere close to numbers. And mine, over time, grossed $100 million off a million and a half dollar um, 
a million half dollar movie. Ain't. Because people know the goods. At a point that, nah, this this ain't right. It's like wearing some some fake Jordans. These are Gordons. You can wear them a, <laughs> wear them a few times. Yeah. Like, Hold on. What? Right. what? This what, ain't something what the hell right. Are these Hordens. Yeah. Nah, man. He flying this way. <laughs> <laughs> man, like, is that a tennis racket in his hand? <laughs> what, what, like, what am I wearing? That's why all the kids are saying, what are those? I don't know what they're talking about. Hey, man, but do the you only, own for all 12? these things, for all these things, right? For all these franchises that we created, the only way. That it makes sense is if you bring the real back. Right. You have to bring the originals back. And if you don't bring the originals back, people ain't trying. It's not authentic to I them. know I have This is the generation where it's not authentic. If it's not authentic, it's like them going trying to replace you. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Now, I could go set up shop somewhere else, but you can't replace what I do. I, 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 I could re- replace. Yeah, yeah. This. It don't matter what set I'm on. I'm big boy. You know what I mean? I'll get... Two girls here, one virgin. You know, this is your foreman. <laughs> one virgin. Wow. Another dude that just gets like 5% fatter each episode. <laughs> and one high dude that films stuff. Right. And, and, you said it's joking. a show. You said <laughs> one dude that get 5% fatter. <laughs> and it's some cowbells. Hey, and man. His and don't girl put pregnant. Marla Wayans on the wall. And you his rock. girl pregnant and he gained weight. Though, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, nah. I'm joking. You know I'm No, no. You serious, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, like, he's like, what kind of cravings you got? Like, what kind of crazy like you ain't man? Why don't you just let something go? <laughs> let it go. I'm not, I'm not trying to big up you for making your move to 92.3 yeah. from the other station. You gonna come at me? Nah, no, I was just I'm trying to big you up. I was just doubling down on Louie with you. Okay. Yeah, it was a it was a partner thing. My special's out. God loves me on HBO Max. Um, it's, it's streaming now. Um, and then this weekend I'm going to be at uh, the Brea yeah, Improv. Uh, hurry up, get tickets. It's sold out except for like two shows. So go online, get your tickets right now. Um, it's not the same set. Hey man, I did what is God that Kunta Kente? I got a brand new set. Uh, workload over there, man. Like when, when you when you do Thursday through like is it Thursday through Sunday? Or are you going Thursday, Thursday through, through Sunday. Sunday? How many shows mm-hmm. do you do? Two a night? I'll three do as many as they fill up. Let's go. I heard that because. The more time you spend on the stage, the better. Some shows, I don't do my set. Some shows, I'm like, I'm going to play. Why? Because I, I got these things on my head, and I, I want to talk about it for something else I'm going to put together down the line. So your, a 7.30 and a 9.30 could be different. Yeah, completely. Damn. Depends. Depends on how I'm feeling. Depends on the crowd. Sometimes I'd be like, you know what? Let me switch this up. I'll just go down that road and go, man, I don't feel like what talking about What made you this. get into comedy, though? Because you got to figure, man, there's such a, a great family dynamic. There's a great ensemble. Comedy it can also be a lonely world. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. instant. Yeah. What made you get on that stage, bro? Because comedy, people could stand up early on and say, man, you suck. What makes Kobe, and then you, what made Kobe get up at? Five in the morning, shoot a thousand jump shots Mm -hmm. before the games. What made him practice as much? When you love something, you be fearless because I got to look at my peers. See, for me, like Kobe, always wanted to make Jordan proud, right? Mm -hmm. Part of him. Then he was like, nah, you know, but that's not his brother. My brothers, I want to put in my sisters, like my family, I want to put it down for them. I want them to walk around proud. Mm -hmm. Like, look at what, look at our baby. And I know that the only thing they're going to respect is my work ethic. It's how hard I work, how hard I, because I, they watch my growth and my elevation. There's nothing better for me as their baby to hear them go, I loved this. This week at The Daily Show, my sister Kim, who hates everything I do. <laughs> you were so funny. You was uh, smart. You, she sounded like my mama talking mm-hmm. to me. But you didn't hear from me. No, huh? you no. know, but you Thanks. But you didn't hear I, from I me. appreciate you, yeah. big boy. Yeah. Um, but my brother Keenan, I don't know the way you, you did a good job. You was funny. You was appropriate. Try not to curse too much. Miss. Damon, even Damon, he was half hater. You know, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that came for I, you. I like the sketch you did. You on to something. My special, my, you understand, I've worked, my brothers are very honest. Oh, oh man, they were honest, and and you gotta stand between my family is like 150 years of comedy. So when comedians who have been in the game a lot, they don't laugh at nothing. They sit there and go, "That's funny." Right. My brothers, I love them, but Damon, Keenan sent Damon to go see my show. And Keenan goes, "So how was my my show?" And Damon said, "I hate to admit it, but it was brilliant." 
<laughs> and Kenan said, brilliant. Why do you say that? He said, that ugly Negro did something I never seen. And I was like, and that's what, and then Kenan said, okay. And then I showed Kenan a cut of my special before I put it out. And he said, you know, Damon was right. It was brilliant. It was genius. It's a game changer. I'm proud of you, little brother. And that's what does that feel like? Everything. I, yeah. I did it. I did it. It's the fuel that gets me to the garden. It's the fuel that gets me to crypto center. It's the fuel that, you know, God willing, whatever God takes me on this journey, I'm ready. I've been preparing for 30 years. I could act, dramatic acting, put, put me in a scene with anybody. I'm down. Mm -hmm. but characters, I could do characters. Who could? Uh, Loke Dog, I played oh white God. chicks, I, seven people in one movie. People, oh, yeah, man. People uh -huh. sleep on the amount of talent that I have, and that's okay. I know that God is making me a monster. My brother always said, you have to be an undeniable force of nature. And that means that Hollywood, sometimes they don't see you. Hollywood's a bank, right? Sometimes you have to see you. You have to own your value. You have to own your worth. You have to know, I know that I'm an expert in my field in almost every capacity, in every in every different different parts of my field, I'm a scientist. So now it's the business part. And mm. after that, we doing it. I'm telling you, it's the great things. What's are next coming. for Marlon? These Williams. are my best years. Every World day. domination. We doing it. Amen. I want to build a great big comedy brand. You know, I want to uh, go resuscitate my our, our family stuff that we got. Go bring go go because this generation we realize this generation needs us. This generation is so sensitive because they don't know how to laugh because oh. everybody's don't everybody's punching down on people instead of punching people up, mm. right? You can't just – you could laugh with somebody, but the way we make you laugh, we make you laugh as friends. Right, we don't just right. make you feel bad about right. yourself and contemplate like, oh, suicide. Cry in the car. Yeah. yeah. You know, we tell jokes that the people we make in front of laugh the loudest. You know why they've been trying to cancel us for white chicks for I can't tell you how long? Make us apologize for white chicks. Mm. You know who loves white chicks the most? White chicks. White chicks. <laughs> yeah. So everybody shut the hell up. <laughs> we told, Thanks. don't get mad because we know how to tell the jokes. We are equal opportunity offenders. People don't do it like we do it. So for me, it's about building and growing uh, our great big brand. And for me, I want to be biggest star in the world, biggest I mean, star in the world. And if I, set, if I wind up being top five, I'll take that wherever God takes me. But I, if you think that Kobe went to the gym to, to or, or LeBron went to the gym to be called second best, right. no. We're yeah, all trying is. to goat. I'm trying to goat in every capacity that I can. And, and really the goat is that I'm the greatest me of all time. There it is. Y'all stick around. That's all. I don't care about nobody else. Just me. Big Word Big Neighborhood, boy. Marlon Wayans. Definitely want to thank you for coming thank into you. the neighborhood and thank hanging you, out man. with us, man. Thank you. Once again, Brea Improv, Marlon is out there Ooh. the entire weekend from now to Sunday. Make sure y'all grab y'all tickets, man, at triple-dub-improv.com slash Brea. Yeah. Grab your tickets if you can. Ooh. Extremely funny, man. Thank you once again for being in the neighborhood. And thank I'm going to tell you straight up, bro, I really apologize for not watching your special before you came in. It's I okay. had no idea. My feelings ain't hurt. Oh, don't worry about it. And then Chris Rock, them, they sent this big old box that was just amazing, wow. man. Yeah, wow. Just, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, Why you be uh, doing that? To April 1st, I'm show? at some theater in um, some part of California. Y'all check out Marlon Wayans official. It's in Northern California somewhere in California. Um, I'm going to be doing stand-up at some casino, Sh Shagabaloo. Or <laughs> right. I don't know, but come but check they, it out. They can follow website. you also on your, in, your in, Instagram. Instagram and at Marlon Wayans. Uh, Twitter at Marlon Wayans, Facebook Marlon Wayans. And um, yeah, DM me, I'll DM you back. And lastly, check out my special HBO Max. Check it out. I want I want to know I your will, opinion. Man. And I, I will, man. Like I said, and also I did the this air movie love. that's is, is air, air coming to yes. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Air that. comes out Ooh. April 5th. Man. Uh, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, um, myself, Chris Tucker, uh, yeah. Viola Davis. Wait, is, mm -hmm. uh, everybody's brilliant in the movie. Uh, you, you guys go check it out. We got Damn. definitely a treat. Marlon, thank you for being thank in the you. neighborhood, I brother. You, brother. I love you too, man. That's Marlon Wayans in the neighborhood. Big boy in the neighborhood. Big boy!